T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do re- Is it possible? to fly high above Earth's atmosphere and soar high like an astronaut in the space shuttle? Have you ever dreamed about being an astronaut? Have you ever wondered what would it be like to be on that spaceship, to go into space and to do work? Well, in order to become an astronaut, it takes three things. One is in order to become an astronaut, you must go to school in the area of STEM. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and earn a college degree. Once you've earned that college degree, then you have to work at least three years and have experience. Then you can apply for the uh, astronaut with NASA. When you apply, you will be applying against 2,000 other applicants and they only select 15 at a time. And once you have been selected, it takes dedication and hard work in order to become an astronaut. Is it possible? Well, we're going to meet a woman, Dr. Mae Jemison. When she was your age, she dreamed of being an astronaut also. And we're going to learn what it took for her to become the first African-American woman in space. If you're interested in this, then stay tuned, guys, and learn some more facts about Dr. Mae Jemison. Jemison was born in Decatur, Alabama in 1957. At the age of three, she moved with her family to Chicago, where she calls home. As a young girl, she always loved science, and she dreamed of going into space one day. As a young girl and as a middle schooler, she loved researching in the library and she studied anthropology, archaeology, and astronomy. These areas helped her to decide when she graduated from high school that she was going to go to school in the field of engineering. earning her bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, she applied at Cornell University and was accepted. There she studied internationally in Kenya, Cuba, and in Cambodia. Once she finished in 1981, she earned her medical degree. How does a medical doctor become an astronaut? Well, once she earned her medical degree, Dr. Jemison, she worked for the Peace Corps and she served for two years in Sierra Leone and Liberia. And afterwards, she decided to return back to her dream of becoming an astronaut soaring high above Earth's atmosphere and working as a scientist. She decided to apply and when she applied, she applied twice. And the second time she applied into NASA's astronaut program, she was accepted. She was the first African-American woman to be accepted in NASA's astronaut program in 1987. 
After being accepted into the program, Dr. Jemison worked hard and trained with the other crew members. They trained for six years preparing to get ready for their mission. In 1992 of September, she boarded the Endeavour shuttle with her crew and they blasted off into space. Once into space, Dr. Jemison, the scientist, she conducted experiments on weightlessness, on motion sickness. She watched to see how tadpoles would grow into frogs. She had the honor of working and learning new medical things while in space. She was able to have her dream by working hard and she broke barriers by being the first African-American woman to go into space. Is it possible? Yes, you can do this if this is your dream to one day be an astronaut. Study math, study science, study technology and engineering. Go to school and don't give up on that dream. Because one day, you could be off in space doing experiments, creating new things for us here, and living your dream. To read more about Dr. Mae Jemison and other black women in science, Look on Amazon for this book, Black Women in Science by Dr. Kimberly Pelham. Also, if you want to read a younger version of Dr. Mae Jemison, you can find this book at the local library or your library at school. Well guys, thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.